Hey, what is up guys? Back again with another video in the Java Servlets and JSP series. Uh, this time I'm going to show you our first project where I'm going to explain it. And the next episode I'm going to show you how to make it. And yeah, so this is going to be your first project in the series. I'm going to have many other projects for you to do so you can test your skills on and, uh, you know, add that to your resume, I guess. And uh, yeah, so this one's going to be pretty simple because we haven't learned too much yet. But we're going to use what we've learned so far to make something kind of cool. And uh, let me show you the, the final product before we explain the document here. This is the final product. It's a simple calculator for calculating the compound interest upon a amount. So let's say that you have a amount like um, for 4,500 uh, 4, and then you have an interest rate uh, that can be through a zero through 100. Let's just set our interest rate to 76. So that'll be an interest rate of 76%. Okay, and then uh, so your principal amount is just going to be your starting amount and the interest rate is obviously just going to be the interest rate. <laughs> Hopefully you know what that is. And uh, your number of years is going to be the amount of years that the interest is going to be collected upon this balance here. So let's just do seven years. And then the times per year or otherwise known as the compounding amount is going to be the uh, amount of times per year. So one through 12 because there's only 12 months, obviously. Um, actually, you can go. Can you go above 12? I mean, technically you can, right? Because it just should be able to do that. It doesn't matter if it's a month or not. Uh, but yeah, I just put 1 through 12. I guess you can do whatever you want, right? Um, but yeah, let's do 1. So that means it's going to do, uh, it's going to compound the interest one time a year for seven years. And let's calculate the amount. So we click calculate it, uh, calculate it. And boom, we get 23,000, or actually 235,397. And then, uh, sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit, it's my first time recording in a while. But uh, yeah, so if we pull out a calculator real quick, yep, that's correct. So that's the exact amount. So yeah, this is just the compound interest formula. Um, you may have used this in uh, school if you've done like calculus or anything like that. Or not calculus, uh, algebra. Um, we've used this in algebra for me at least. And yeah, it's a pretty simple application. All you're doing here is you have a simple HTML form. And uh, they have two, we have four inputs here. So we have an input for the principal amount, the interest rate, the number of years, and the times per year. And uh, when they click the submit button here, it's going to submit that form, uh, the data in the form in a post request. And that post, re post request is going to be processed by the servlet application. And then the calculation will be processed in the back end. And then after the calculation is made, it's going to send that number back to this page here. It's going to forward the request back to this page along with the result um, as an attribute. And then we're displaying the attribute back to the client, the user. And so, yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. Also, we have errors. So let's say that they don't provide one of them um, like this. It says one or more of the, bu uh, the input boxes were blank. Try again. So if we put these values here, yeah, obviously it has to be less than 100, so 67. This one has to be equal to 1 through 12, so 2. So if I do all four, then it works. But if I take away one of them, it does that. One or more of the input boxes were blank. Try again. So all you're doing here is checking to see which ones were blank. And if one of them were blank, then we, all we have to do is forward that error back to the page as an attribute. And we've done this before, so if you haven't watched that episode, go ahead and watch it. And yeah, so this is a pretty simple thing. Let's look at the specification document so you know exactly what you need to do. So this is the project one for the Java Servlets and JSP series. Let me zoom in for you guys. It may be a little small. There we go. So it says that this will use everything we have learned thus far, create a web application that has a simple page containing a compound interest calculator. It needs to ask for the necessary inputs to make the calculation. So the principal amount, which is the starting balance, the interest rate as a percentage, the time in years, and the number of times per year to compound this interest. And as you see here, that's exactly what we're asking for. And then uh, after the user inputs that information into an HTTP, I mean HTML form, HTML form, uh, process the request as a post request and then perform the necessary calculation. So after the calculation is complete, forward the resulting calculation back to the JSP page and display it. So this is just how, this is how we, when we display the number, that's the number being forwarded back to the page. And uh, I also recommend forwarding the inputs back to the page and putting them back into the input boxes so that the user does not, ha uh, does not need to t retype them all. 
If there are any errors, like they don't provide all the necessary inputs, then forward an error back to the JSP page and display it like I showed you a second ago. And then we get the, I showed you, I have the formula here for you, so you can see how you can calculate the uh, compound interest using the compound interest formula. So it's a pretty simple formula, it tells you exactly what you need, and this is the result here, the amount. So there we go. And then if we scroll down, we can see the example that I've showed you in this video. But uh, yeah, so I'll leave the link for this document in the description below so you can check it out and uh, you can uh, use it to test your skills. So what I want you to do now is pause the video and then read this document and try coding out the application on your own. And then after you're done, after you think you, you got it or you think you, maybe you just gave up or whatever, then you can go ahead and watch the next episode where I'm gonna show you how to do this um, in full, okay? And yeah, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you are excited by this project. So good luck with it and uh, yeah, so good luck. <laughs>